just get my editing stuff together. Oh, okay, hair. Thank you. It's been three, four days since I washed my hair. Um, but usually my hair is just volumized and all over the place. So, um, yeah. Anyways, doing a little editing sesh because, uh, I'm actually not doing finals. I did all my finals. Um, let's see last week and I just started a summer class because I'm in accelerated classes so um, I get done everything a little bit faster than most people probably about two weeks ahead of most people so instead of like a how does it look so good and so my hair I actually don't have anything in my hair so this is just brushed and woken up this is it no styling um, anyways how does it not get greasy I don't know I think it's definitely hair type um, because I know some people who have to wash their hair every single day. And I'm like, ooh, I could not do that. Because um, I know your hair is straight. So maybe it's because it's straight. Mine is more, like, when I wake up, it's more curly and, I don't know, all over the place. Um, also, I rarely use conditioner, like, in my roots just because I know it gets oily. So I'll use conditioner on the ends and make it nice and soft. Um, but, yeah, that's my secret, I guess. So I'm working on, I'm working on the Cedar Break Ranch, Cedar Break Ranch, yep, um, video right now. That should be coming up very soon. I just needed to, my hair is wavy, very naturally wavy. Um, I actually, when I brush it, it gets like this. It gets uh, smooth. Um, and straight that's why I don't like brushing my hair but I don't put the right product you know how curly hair you need products I don't put the right products to keep it curly so it'll be curly when I wake up and then it'll be frizzy at the end of the day because I don't put products in it and so then I'm forced to brush my hair and then it'll turn out like this you know what I mean so I have like multiple ways that my hair can work but uh, usually when I wake up it's naturally like really really curly oh thank you thank you this is this is it. This is it. Brushed hair. But, yeah, Reese, I think... I have never seen you with, like, super curly hair. I've seen you with, like, you know, curls in your hair. But super curly? Oh, my God, I want to see it. With, like, a big blowout and, like, like bombshell hair. I want to see that on you. Oh, that would look so good. So good. Ah! You should do that one day. You should do that one day. Um... Thank you, babe. Stunning. Thank you. <laughs> Stay fabulous. Urgent reminder. Stay fabulous. Hey. So, you should. Why not? Sometimes I just feel like hair needs to be experimented more. You know? Curly, straight, blowout. We should gotta do more. Like different types of makeup, different types of hair. I used, I tried nails, didn't really like them. Um, just experimenting with what you like. Uh, it wouldn't stay because your hair's so straight. Well, what if you put a lot of product in it? Hairspray, volumizing spray, um, dry shampoo, tease it. If you tease your hair, it's not going anywhere. I bet, I, I bet, I bet, I bet. When is the next time I'm seeing y'all? Women's secret knock? Is that? I forget when that is. Reese, when is the women's secret knock? Hey y'all, it's Rachel here. Welcome back to another video. So I am here with two-time Super Bowl champion, Eric Howard and his son, Keaton Howard. And we are here at Cedar Break at Howard Ranch. And I just wanna show you guys what it's all about. You got your hair permed? Oh my God. That's so cool, bro. Follow me. Come on, back or we me. There's Vegas secret knock. Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, what's her What's her name? Colt's mom. Women's secret knock in July. Okay, July. Because I have a lot of things happening and I need to write this down. Secret knock just like comes up so fast. I'm like, oh god, 
Oh god. I just drove in from Los Angeles and I had to stop down here because they said to. And so I'm like, okay, I need the whole tour. This is really Do I know amazing. calculus? Just look at this sure. Place. Like, come on. This is great. If you guys don't know who Eric Yeah, please do ask. I had really to stop down that. here because they said to. And so I'm like, okay, I need the whole tour. This is really Asian amazing. mixed. No. Amazing. And it for real does sneak just up on you. Most of the events that I try and go to, like, I don't know that I'm going to it until, like, a week before. Like, come on. And I'll look at the calendar and I'll be like, oop, okay, book this a flight. Yeah. But this video that I'm editing now, I have basically already gone through it. I always forget about it until the week before, literally. I'm basically, uh, I already went through it and got rid of, like, the weird bits and so now i have to just go back in add music where it needs to be and all that stuff so if you guys don't know who eric howard is he's a legend we're gonna go into the tobacco bar uh, it do be like that for real look him up he's a legend what am i watching i'm editing a video right now trying to get y'all some good youtube content designed and built just like they used to build in appalachia for drying tobacco but it's our event center all these all these shutters wing out you know and uh Hey yo. Oh, hi Jocelyn. Hi. Um, no more filming. As of right now, I have two movies that I'm supposed to be filming in um uh, close to close to uh, Halloween. So that's gonna be in Australia, and then one of them is gonna be somewhere else. And then I have another little thing happening in London, and then um. Miami Swim Week's coming up. Hey, Jocelyn, were you at Secret Knock this year? I don't know. She was. She was. She was. She was uh, the robot girl. Yeah, yeah. She had the cute little plastic skirt on. Um, but I have a lot of things happening. Literally so many things. I am going to VidCon, going to Open Source, which is a big science convention. I am going to Miami Swim Week. Literally in two weeks. Um... Then there's all the other fashion shows that I always go to. Then there is the two movies. Then there is the movie premiere that I have to go to for uh, oh, for uh, uh, Round the Decay that's going to be coming out. I just have a ton of things, you know? Like, they may not be the biggest things. No, VidCon didn't just happen. It's coming up in uh, June. I'm going to a fanfix uh, creator event this week. So, yeah, that was already a year ago, Miss Girl. Uh, but yeah, I have a ton of things happening. A ton of things in the in the pot, in the making. Um, so, yeah. And I don't even know the half of it. San Diego Comic Con. I'm getting a brand new cosplay. I'm actually, I designed it. Um... And so I'm gonna get it made. So I actually have to, yeah, get that drawn up. Forgot about that. Cool. All right, you heard the man. Let's go. This is so great. I'm doing paid casting calls in LA for swim. That's amazing. DM me. Oh, Hello. Wow. This is the video that I'm working on wow. right now. This is the coolest thing ever. So I, I got a little bit of a backstory about this. Um, so if you're wanting a little bit of a backstory about this, um, so about this, um, if you're wanting a wedding, about this. I just feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. Or or about this. If you're wanting a wedding or like a party, this is the place. Look at this. Come on now. Come on. This is so cute. You can have your gathering. You can have any type of, I don't know, celebration here. It's adorable. Do rehearsal yeah. dinners. Rehearsal dinners. Live, live music stand-up. Right. Live music, stand-up yeah. comedy, certain stand -up nights. comedy. Theme, night karaoke. Nice. All of that. This is really cute. And... They can jam out to the music. There's speakers everywhere. So if you are like a music lover, come on. Go over here. You put on your music, connect your Bluetooth, 
and jam the night away. I love it. I could live here. Can I live here? Just reading Elle's comments. We got all the standing dead And jam the night away. I love it. I could live here. Can I live here? We got all of the standing dead timber out of Colorado. Oh, that's cool. Are fine. That's cool. And this is all. Also, if you're wondering why I have a filter on my face, it is because I'm having the worst acne of my life, and I'm currently on Accutane, and it makes it worse before it gets better. So that's currently what I'm dealing with at the moment. So I'd rather not show the serious acne that's happening right now. You know. You know, you know, you know. But I have a few hours, at least two hours to edit. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm doing for today. And then I'm going to put some makeup on, do my hair, feel pretty, look good. And then um, probably go out tonight. You know? Because I feel like it. You know? Well, not go out. But, you know, like, I don't know. Go find something to do, you know? Find something to do. Because I haven't had that that time to just, oh, I'm just going to go out or whatever, you know? I know, I know, you're okay with normalizing the acne, but mine is really bad right now. Usually I'll show you, like, a little bit, but if you can see through the filter. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. And that is what Accutane does. It basically, it's a medicine that you take every day and it brings all your pores to the, f to the top, like the surface, and it pops them and it like takes all the uh, filament and all the pus and everything out. And so then it becomes scabs, you know? And so your face gets super duper dry and <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Standing dead timber out of Colorado. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And this is all mortise and tenon. There's not a nail or a, or a strap in this place. It's all yeah. built with, uh, you know, old school. Yeah. No yeah. I love it. Yeah. Look at those fans. Can I just show you guys the fans? I feel like I need some coffee. What the heck is that? Yeah. Go out and have fun. I will. I will. I will. That literally looks like a wind turbine. It looks like a wind turbine, you know, like one of the windmills on like an old farm. It looks like a windmill on a ceiling. Thanks. That is so cool. <laughs> Making me feel better oh about gosh, my acting. Oh my gosh, do you play guitar? I do. Your string's broken. I know, I just unfortunately broke you a string. You just broke your string? I did, I was just in here playing. Can we get a sample? We can. So, if you don't know Keaton, this is Eric Howard's son, and um, he's going to play a song for us. I'm missing a string on the guitar, so. He's talented. <laughs> I've been on a rock here trying to get myself out of this town Yeah, I guess what comes around goes around Cause everything I do is catch an afternoon I don't know why I even try to make it out alive Cause Jack and Coach and Friday night Try to live up this boring life Where I try to hide it That's the most I can do missing a string right now. I'm gonna show you guys this cool thing over here. Come travel with me real quick. So if you're ever here at Cedar Break, there are these amazing pictures that you definitely have to take. No, check this out. is look at this. This is not a, if you don't believe me about a Eric, fixing video. This is a <laughs> I stayed at this Cedar Break Cedar Break Ranch and, and it was amazing. Oh, I'm not bloated. It's just the pants. How do you Trust, feel, it's just the pants. Old. Like my son. <laughs> I just feel uh -huh. old. Dang. So that's the truth. Eric feels old. I'm got an old signed in. Hank Williams. Is this just a ladder? Yeah. <laughs> Is this just a random ladder? It doesn't lead to much. It's just a random ladder. Well, good. There's so much more to see, so let's go check it all out. Where are we going to next? Let's walk through the park. All right, let's walk through the park. Let's go. So that was designed to be an old still. Those folks that don't know, right? So the, the hill country is famous for its cedar chopper culture. Okay. Right? And the cedar break is actually a clearing, right? It's I didn't know. 
That's what it is. So this whole property is designed to see we're, we're closed in by, mm -hmm. by trees. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a little oasis mm -hmm. in the middle country. But this That's is your amazing. culture. These guys came down out of the Appalachian. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we have Appalachian materials. All the cabinets were done and sided with the Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then we have duck fur, and we've got them out of Montana. We've got tin out of this Arizona. Is a long video. Uh, and we've got ponderosa pine out of Colorado. And these guys were, you know, this was built just like old timey still. Cool. So we got this big fire pit right here. We got the Cedarbreak Lodge and fire pit, and people can go over to this big fire pit. And this was built just like old timey still. Still. We got the Cedar Break Lodge and Fire Pit, and people can go over to our general store right here at night, and we can sell s'mores kits with marshmallows, graham crackers, sticks, and everything. Oh people gosh. get fire kits and get some wood and have a good time out here every night. If you know me, I'm obsessed with s'mores and every type of sweet on the planet, so that's happening. <laughs> yeah? Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> All right. Onward. <laughs> All right. Onward. Mmm, this is where I need music. So we ran around and set up a fire drill when we were furnishing all these guys. We went to every hill country town. Really? Literally every hill country town. Wow. To get furnishings. Uh, because, as you'll see, these guys are all furnished. Yeah. Furnished. Uh, furniture. They're so modern. cute. Yeah. yeah. It's modern. It's modern. Right, so it still has the white. It's old school. It's, it's old school. I love it. Don't find any place like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's amazing. But in Texas, you don't really need a fireplace because it's like 100 degrees. Anyways, <laughs> this is beautiful. So this is inside one of the cabins. Um, me and my family actually stayed here last night, and we stayed in. I think a little bigger. Actually, it might be the same one. Just different. Yeah. Different. So I can tell that this one had a couch, the other one didn't. It had a little bit different stuff. Um, Coziness. Oh my gosh. I need you to come see the bed because the coziness of this bed is incredible. Come, come, come. Guys, look at this. I could jump on this bed and live here forever. It's so freaking cute. And then we have the bathroom in here. It's a little antique, but, and you have your little air vent as well, but it's still modern. The shower. Oh my God. This shower is gorgeous. Oh. And it's perfect for tall people! Yes! If you're six feet tall, come to the shower because that's like seven feet right there. That's fabulous. It is tall girl approved. I want to show you this beautiful antique dresser. I don't know anything about it, but this is stunning. And if you, you know, need your closet, this is perfect for a little weekend getaway. Trust me, it was so cozy last night and my whole family approves. I feel like if you stay here, you would not regret it. You wouldn't be disappointed. This is so beautiful and cozy, especially like with your partner. Like, come on, you can have a little table. We've got, we've got a brewery on site. Yeah. We're closer to all the wineries, cideries, breweries, distilleries. Yeah. All through the so this is perfect for a getaway. Yeah. What they call them. One is the gateway to the hill country. Love it. Right? And then two is the wedding capital of Texas. You heard it. Have your wedding here. I would have my wedding here. Just say. Well, let's go check out another one right, with uh, the kid beds up there. Yeah. Sure. Show me. Show me. I want to see all of them. I can probably have this edited by the end of the day and show you all. Show me. I want to see all of them. Find out here there's coin there and people can come. Something lurking around. Oh. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Texas is not, you know, not the best. Oh. Um, stick a quarter in there, get some food in there, and people can come. Find out here there's coin. That's the Find out here there's coin in there, and people can come feed koi. We got a little fish feeder right here. Oh my gosh. Uh, people can come, stick a quarter in there, get some food, toss them out to the koi. That's here. Oh my gosh. Uh, the people can come, stick a quarter in there, get some food, toss them out to the koi. That's so cool. Do y'all have grills but and stuff? You gotta remember like you're grill? in Texas, so there might be snakes or something lurking around. Oh. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> Texas is not, you know, not the best. But it's got amazing weather. Oh, oh my gosh, come see this. This is not, you know, not the best. But it's got amazing weather. I wanna see all of it. Oh my gosh, come see this. This. Okay, I'm going up. I'm going up. 
So, I'm up here. This is the kids' bedroom. Oh my gosh. And you get the cute little window. So this is the kids' bedroom. It's so cute, so dainty, and I love that it's... Elsewhere. So this is the kids' bedroom. It is so cute, so dainty, and I love that it's very, like, simplistic, you know, so you can furnish it the way you want, and it's not, like, too many things. But look at this view. It's so cute, so adorable, and also, you get the whole floor to yourself. So go downstairs, and whole floor to yourself. Or to yourself. So let's go downstairs and see what else we got. Be careful of the staircase. That is so intimidating. Oh. So the one thing that I really like about these cabins is that it's so cozy and the furniture is a little bit different in each one. So you do get to choose which one you want. If you want the extra bedding up top, if you don't. And I just feel like it's so beautiful and such a great getaway place, especially if you're having like a weekend out or a wedding. Like, oh my gosh. You could totally do this, and if you're totally into the farm, this is your place to stay. I have a microphone on right now, I knew it! You can just take it off. <laughs> this is our grand entrance with Cedar Break, Twisted X Brewery. Uh, you walk up. This is your place to stay. To stay. This is our grand entrance with Cedar Break, Twisted X Brewery. Uh, you walk up here, you check in at our ranger station, and we have four airstreams. This is such here a cute video. You can video. Out if you're not interested in staying in the cabin, it's and they go by price. Like. So the cheapest you can stay is the airstream. It goes up to the cabins, and then our old bar in, uh, which is down that way. It's a big bar and dominium that you can stay in. Anyways, right peace. I just wanted to say yeah, hello. Yeah, you know, Ooh. And uh, wow. have a so, great day. I got a question. Yeah. So, Bye, guys. Is your